Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at some colloquial ways we may describe other people. But in particular, some terms we often use to describe co-workers and salesmen. We're going to start with compliments. Listen to this example. Send Sean into the meeting. He has the gift of the gab. This is an idiom. Somebody has the gift of the gab. This means that someone is very skilled at persuading someone to do something because they are so charming in the way they speak. Another way we can say this is smooth talker, which is a noun. Here's an example. Sean only got that promotion because he's such a smooth talker. This suggests that the person flatters and compliments others in such a skillful way in order to get what they want. Moving on, you can use the adjective slick, which can be used to describe a person, a person's general behaviour, somebody's sense of style, or the way they complete an action. For example, nice suit, you're looking slick today. Or, wow, his presentation was so slick and professional. And finally, Sean was slick during the negotiations. As you can probably guess, if somebody is slick, they look good, they are a smooth talker, and they act in a cool and effective way. Likewise, if something is slick, it's modern, looks good, and operates quickly and smoothly. You may also hear the term city slicker which refers to someone from a major city, like London, who is considered sophisticated, cool and modern. For example, Sean is a real city slicker. He should show our clients around. However, this term can be used as an insult to suggest a person couldn't survive somewhere more rural. So you could say, all the London city slickers spend their weekends in the Cotswolds. That's why it's so expensive. Have you ever heard the word lad? It's a common term for a younger man or a friendly term for a man in general. Well, if a man is very stereotypically male, they like football, they drink beer, make immature jokes, and are loud and a bit cocky, we refer to them as a jack the lad. For example, Sean is a hard worker, but he can be a bit of a jack the lad at times though. On a similar note, a person who is genuine and naturally skilled deep down, but needs a bit of training and guidance can be referred to as a diamond in the rough. This term also suggests the person may need to work on becoming more professional and refined. For example, Sean joined the team when he was a teenager. He was a real diamond in the rough, but look how successful he is now. Speaking of success, you can use top dog to describe the boss, someone acting like the boss, or someone who is the most successful in a particular field. For example, don't be late for the meeting. Sean's coming and he's pretty much the top dog around here. Obviously, this is an informal term, but you can ask, who's the top dog around here? To check who has the most authority even if it's not shown officially by their job title. It's also a great way to see who is your biggest competition if you're hoping for a promotion or a raise. For example, I'm not afraid to admit I'm the top dog in the sales department. Well guys, that's all for today. Comment below if you'd like a part two to this video and we will respond to our first comments so drop us a message. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.